Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we are going to be going on this week's Elite Deep Dive in Deep Rock. I'm going to be taking my gunner for this uh, for no specific reason. Uh, I just haven't used gunner in a while, I don't think, at least for uh, an Elite Deep Dive. I'm going to be running Neurotoxin Payload with the Heavy Auto Cannon, one of my favorite overclocks and one of the strongest overclocks in the game in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to be running extra ammo, faster rate of fire or faster build up to rate of fire, more damage per shot. Um, increased splash radius and then fear on those shots so I can potentially clear up hordes really fast. Uh, and then for a second here I'm going to be running the burst pistol with composite casings. This gives us more ammo and a shorter delay between bursts with more accuracy, faster reloads, more damage, uh, more damage on weak spots and then stun. I'm going to be running resupplier to get resupplies back faster and get more health overall. Born ready because it's just really nice to have for the auto cannon. Thorns to keep little things away from me, dash to get out of bad situations, and then heightened senses to potentially not get grabbed by leeches. For the pickaxe, I'm running power attack, better weight balance, usual setup that I have for the pickaxe. Shield generator, I'm going with improved projector and increased duration. Zipline launcher, I'm going full reach. And then I'm taking the sticky grenade, um, no particular reason, I just like it. Then for armor, running my usual armor setup, bigger mineral bag, healthy reactive armor breathing room. For my Bosco build, I'm going with two downs, cryo rockets and electric rounds, the usual Bosco setup. Cryo rockets are really useful for taking out uh, like flying enemies or for potentially freezing large groups of enemies. And the electric rounds are just really nice. All right, looks like we are going to dirty hell in the magma core. Of course. All right. Well, I don't know what I signed up for. I didn't check ahead of time. Oh, we got Slayer Stout, though. Hit me hard, boy. Slayer Stout's pretty good. That gives us bonus uh, melee damage, I think. It's either bonus melee damage or it's a faster pickaxe swing. Uh, let's see. Collect seven aquarks. Oh, it's Magterra Plague. Okay. Stage one, team. Your objectives are prepared, and you can approach them however you want. At least we can take them out pretty quick with this. Oh, this is the one with the faster pick X charge. That's nice. Okay, well, this build is not particularly great against Magterra. It's not terrible, but it's not great. It's much better against ground enemies. Go away, Praetorian. I'm fighting these right now. And we'll take care of you. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Much appreciated. Check that down there. And then... Check that one down there. Busco, no, can you grab that? I'm gonna grab this one, wherever the heck it is. It's somewhere right here. Good thing this is really good at taking out hordes. Just of regular enemies. Luckily, no leeches. Although, I haven't found any nitro whatsoever either. So, that could cause an issue. I guess it depends how long we end up sitting here. Oh no. Dang it. I accidentally set the mine build off. Oh. I was hoping to save that to get some extra damage out on some regular things. Just clear up a whole horde. Yeah, there's a swarm. Oh, so disappointing. Oh, wait, it's Mag Terra anyway. Never mind. I'm not going to be able to use the mines regardless. Huh, 
know what? I can fight down here. Yeah, maybe. Okay, <laughs> that worked. Let's set this up. Um, still don't have enough nitro for a resupply. I'm pretty sure we can... Okay, never mind. Let's get this most of the way set up, clear the swarm, and let's see how much ammo we have left. Three, must go. Uh, must go. Thank you. Take him out, Bosco. You know, if I run around these, the bugs have a pretty good chance of getting lit on fire. <laughs> yep. Just like that. isn't great for it, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. I still got three shields left. Black box found and ready. Defend it while we retrieve its mission data. Do not leave the triangulation zone or we will lose the connection. Yeah. Yeah, get into cover. Okay. Takes care of that. And we're at fifty percent. Yeah, fifty percent. And almost out of bullets. Which is obviously, you know, not a good thing. <laughs> The rest of this. Okay. It might just be best for me to go to the next stage, honestly. Like, once we get done with this. Okay. Data retrieved. Let's get out of here then. You achieved your objectives in record time. Launch the minehead and we'll send in the drop. Yeah, and Bosco might need some nitro here. There's actually a lot more nitro there than I thought there was, but I still don't have enough for a resupply. Oh, there's more that fell down here. Oh yeah, that was from a different thing. All right. this away. Launch the rocket. And now I'm just gonna run around here with no ammunition. <laughs> Expect heavy resistance. Alright, mission control. I'll expect heavy resistance as I just run around and hope to not die. I mean, I do have the faster power attacks. Which is definitely going to help us, but... Ouch, ouch, ouch. I got one shield left, too. So I'm not entirely helpless. Just mostly helpless. Okay, uh... 
run this way. Yeah. Run around the rocks. <laughs> oh no. There we go. And... Oh, I hope this isn't in a bad location too when it drops. Because I have... Not really anything left. Like, I don't have any zip lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Busco. Where are you exactly, Busco? Busco, Yeah, show him some pain, Busco. Good job, Busco. Still running. Get him, Busco! <laughs> Ow! You just run around in circles around here. Let Busco deal with everything. Yeah, Busco, take care of them. Let the turrets. There's. <laughs> It's up there. Why is it all the way up there? That's such a bad spot for me. I might be able just to get through this. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. That's okay. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> I'm dying here, but that's okay. Oh, maybe. Maybe this isn't as fine as I thought. Uh, dang it. There's so much stuff right here. Yeah, here's the problem though. I don't know exactly which direction I'm facing when I get up. Ah, uh, and then the goo bomber blocked me. Yeah, which I think that's enough to kill me. Dang. Alright, let's try this again. We know that the thing is going to be up there, so I'm going to stay down here and keep fighting. Hopefully kill off just about everything, use up the rest of this resupply because I found enough nitro to do it. Although, I'm out of Nitro once again because this cave just doesn't have much. So... At least I got ammo this time to take care of the Magterra. I did go down once already. Um, that's just because I happened to get a swarm right as I started the black box. Or about midway through the black box. So I was dealing with quite a lot of enemies. Other than that, the run has been pretty much the same as last time. Maybe a little bit quicker. Grabbing ammo. I'm gonna grab this. Then at about 30 seconds, I'm gonna head up there because I think it, I think the re or the drop pod always drops in the same area. It's a pretty awful area for Gunner. <laughs> Grab this, and we'll be on our way. Use this to pick them off. <laughs> Wasn't able to do this the other time because I just had no ammo. Let's see. Is on the way. Clock is ticking. Move it, team. Hopefully it's over here this time. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's always over here then. Yeah, there we are. Now I'm in the area that I couldn't quite get to before. Drop on the right. Clock is ticking. Follow to you, team. Clock is ticking. Alright, let's get out of here. To stage two, where hopefully we don't get another bad drop pot spot. Stage one completed after I failed it by getting stuck in a corner and beat to death on the first one. Stage two, parasites, alien eggs, dreadnought. Okay, that's fine. Parasites, who cares? Alien eggs are usually pretty easy to deal with, and dreadnought... 
I do have the burst pistol, so should be able to take care of that. The auto cannon's not going to do a whole lot because neurotoxin payload's not the best against um, dreadnoughts, since it reduces your overall damage and the damage over time is not way great. <laughs> At least for big enemies, it's really good for medium enemies. But the burst pistol should give us enough damage to kill whichever. Well, unless we get like the twins, then neurotoxin should be fine. Hey, we landed on a spitballer right away. Ow. And apparently my RNG was not good enough. Management sends their regards. Get ready for the second stage of the deep dive. Alright. Get rid of the swarmers. Get rid of the parasites. Get the nitro. We need this. And we got Molly this time. It's kind of weird that I'm happy to see Molly. Well, now suddenly I have plenty of nitra. From a mission that had no nitra to a mission that gives you plenty. Maybe that was on purpose, though. Oh, okay. Well, the dreadnoughts are out here. Yep, there it is. Uh, plenty of swarmers. Get that Praetorian angry. <laughs> This is a good place to fight. Get behind something. Let's go. You want to get the eggs? I'll take care of everything else here. I think we're only going to get one swarm from this. Because I think it's just the four eggs. So I think that's one swarm on a deep dive. Could be wrong. It might be two on a deep dive. I mean, we still, yeah, we still get Easter eggs. And yeah, when I'm just fighting regular grunts, look at how good this build works. Follow me, it just shreds through everything. So until you're out of ammo, then it doesn't. But I guess that's with every weapon. <laughs> Bring forth the swarm. Oh, no, that's an earthquake. Don't bring forth that. I don't want that. Come here, Busco. Thanks, buddy. Uh, go get that one next. We can still just kind of stand right here and be okay. Fighting the dreadnought is going to be a little bit weird. Still not dead? Oh, it's not. Okay. I didn't kill it. <laughs> Explosive. Thanks, Wesco. Okay, and then the last egg is like... Give me some Go. Get to work. Up there, okay. Oh, that's a swarm. Okay, so it is just one swarm on four eggs. So it's one swarm on four eggs and one swarm on two eggs. If you get them. I guess that makes sense. Alright, Busco. Busco okay, got one. Primary objective down. All eggs collected. We just gotta kill everything and then kill the dreadnought afterwards. It's an oppressor. Yeah. 
got the oppressor here, but... That's another way they keep throwing swarmers behind me. Not that I'm complaining though, this build is amazing at killing swarmers. You know, if we got like Swarmageddon next, we're gonna be sad. kill all the things, then we can call it a resupply. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could right now. dead. We're almost out of bullets, but that's okay, because everything's dead. And we do have a resupply here, and we can call in, like, almost two more resupplies. Okay, well. The dreadnought started. Wait. Okay, well, hey, my auto cannon can actually do some damage then. Difficult to see once you're in the floor fire. Oh, that still hit me. Dang. some more red sugar. I've seen some on the walls, but... Yeah, there's some. Alright, I'm good now. I don't even know where that one came up at. Man, that's an awkward angle. Alright, they're gonna equalize health. Although I could spread neurotoxin on them. I don't always slow them down a little bit when they resurface. Okay. Yeah, it probably would have been better. Even though, like, I really like neurotoxin if I had went with, uh, the Big Bertha. Big Bertha does really well against, like, Mac Terras and stuff. Since you actually have some accuracy then. Ow, floor fire. Floor fire and earthquakes. I'm still on fire. They're gonna equalize health again because the... Yeah. Where's the Obelisk? They're nowhere around. Eh, I don't need that just yet. I can still chuck out grenades. And I kind of want to be greedy with my resupply. Some of the ammo. 
it does that. Oh. On the list. Okay. There, please. Equalizing health again? I don't know if they can. Okay, that's one dead. This build doesn't kill him super quick, but it's okay, it's not really meant to. Okay. I think he just went into the other room. Oh wait. Yeah, Bosco, you wait too. Don't give it what it wants. Also, I don't think we can with all the earthquakes. Wait. How did it spit here? It's in the other room. Coward. I hear you over here. Yeah. Dreadful down. Objective completed. Go. Excellent job. Let's go. I'll grab this too and then we'll be on our way. And we just got the last area to go to. I don't know why that is spawning over there. I don't know what that is. Like it. It's just a thing that's not rendering in? I don't know. Oh, maybe it was signifying where that was. Who knows? Alright. Hey, there's more nitrate here. Didn't see this when I was over there. Makes sense, I didn't really leave that corner of the room. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go! Drop pod is waiting forever. Yeah, drop pod is waiting forever. See you, Bosco. See you in the next stage, buddy. <laughs> I got for the exploders. Stage two completed. Another blank. Now stage three, which is <laughs> swarm again. Hey, I called it. <laughs> With hold the area and then eggs. All right. Well, this is actually turned from a not-so-great build from the first stage to a really great build by the end stage. That's a little bit odd. I should have probably went with extra ammo with my pistol, in all honesty, if I wanted a better well-rounded loadout, because the, the Mactera were just giving me so much trouble with the auto cannon. but, like, when it's just hordes and when it's just swarmers, Neurotoxin auto cannon is amazing. Alright. This one is looking tough. Let's go. To least. This one's looking tough? Completed. Honestly, this one looks the best to me, dude. Yep, we got the swarmers coming. <laughs> I think they're all dead, though. Oh, there's a cave leech that I hit by accident, too. Nice. Ah, come here, Trija. Yes, thank you. Let's go. Yeah, you're on rocket duty. Hit him with that. And then hit him with it again. There you go. Good job, you froze him. Yeah, this is where my build really excels at. At just murdering all normal enemies. It's been like non-stop fighting since we started. It's been pretty cool. At least for this build. You can just pick that off. 
Alright. Grab that one. Hey, leave me alone, Menace. Ah. Ran out of bullets. Another mini swarm showing up. Ooh, that's a hole. Oh, I, actually, it's not that deep of a hole. <laughs> okay, didn't realize I was standing that close to a mine. Go away, Bucks. Go away. Just be afraid of the auto cannon. Alright, going back over here. I think Bosco's. Yeah, Bosco's still hanging out over here somewhere. Pop the loop bug, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Uh, it's just strong over Doc Molly, just sit still. Thank you. Alright, we got one meal. Oh, we gotta get three meals for this one. Yeah, let me put that down. Sorry, little bug, you might need your stuff. Uh, Bosco, go get that other egg. We're gonna go fight a horde. Well, another horde. It's been like non-stop hordes since we started. Or at least something trying to kill me all the time. It's been kind of like a gunner's paradise. <laughs> Been like normal hordes, and then we've also got like swarmer hordes in between. It's been almost like non stop fighting. Alright, let's go. For the egg. Yeah, let's fight through everything then. in there. It's okay though. We'll overwhelm them now. <laughs> yeah, I just ran through like all my ammo for that. Alright. Well, we just gotta get this set up and then survive. <laughs> So as long as we don't get like a bulk detonator or something, we should be fine. And I probably shouldn't even say that out loud because who knows if I'll jinx it. That is one big problem with these is if you just happen to get like two oppressors or a bulk or something. 
usually doesn't go too well. Triangulation initiated. Do not leave the triangulation zone, or we will lose the connection. We only got one shot at this. Okay, well. Let's fight then. Grabber? Triangulation at 50%. Two grabbers. Okay. Kinda wish the Praetorian would have been off and died somewhere else. Regulation at seventy-five percent, almost there. <laughs> Didn't mean to kill the bug. Alright. Yeah, that went fine. Nothing terrible there. Worst thing was that Praetorian just not getting into the spot where I wanted it to die. Okay, that's also not a great place for it to die, but at least I don't need the resupply. Yeah, I was really hoping that they wouldn't be down here. That's not a terrible spot, but it's not a great spot either. Fuel cells connected to drop. All that in about over there. Grabbing ammo. I grab this. We still have all four down, so we're okay. I hear another like swarmer. <laughs> Showing up though. Yeah. I heard something coming out of the ground. There we go. <laughs> that way we reload our auto cannon. Yes. I can get another resupply though. Okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that is about the right distance because I can still grab it. It's still being in here. Alright. <laughs> Narrow toxin rounds just slaughter everything. Get well. <laughs> that hurt. Get rid of all of this. Grab myself a resupply. That was just a bunch of swarmers that knocked me down. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, just <laughs> jumping 360, I guess. <laughs> That'll be the plan. Oh, I run out of bullets. And I can go hide over here in this cave. <laughs> Just survive everything. That's all I gotta do. Don't gotta win, just gotta survive. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff to kill. There's still more. Getting supplies. Powering radiation shielding. Bravo! Still more swarmers. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> we probably had a lot of kills this time around. Well, maybe, because the Terra Plague, we probably had less than normal kills, and then Swarm again, we had more than normal kills, so they might have evened out. Although we did have Parasites. Which is also usually more than normal. Hey, I got Twinned Wintery Gilded. I've been getting that one a lot. Or at least Twinned Wintery something. There we are. I, I had also changed my gunner's look. <laughs> For anybody wondering. Yeah, 1,000 kills. Two downs on the first and last board. Not a whole lot of mind. Although that first board didn't have like any resources that were convenient. Alright, well, that was this week's Elite Deep Dive. And that one was rather a pain, I would say. That one's not going to be fun for most people. Because the first one is Mac Terra Plague, and it's Defend the Area, and it's a Quarks with a giant area, and not a whole lot of resources. So I would just suggest getting through it as fast as possible. Mac Terra also are usually weak to single target weapons, but then that will <laughs> kind of fall apart on the last two boards where you have Parasites, which Parasites are usually more of an annoyance, so that's not a huge deal. Uh, but you do have an Egg Hunt there. Uh, the Elimination would still benefit from single target weapons, so things like the M1000. But then the last board is just all hordes uh, and defend the area. So anything with AoE is really good on that one, which is also not so great on the first one. So having a mixed build is probably going to be the best option for you. Um, the last board is definitely going to be easier for people like Engineer, Gunner, and Driller, for the most part, depending on what overclocks you're running and everything. The first board is definitely going to be easiest for Scout. Um, and then the middle board is also probably going to be easiest for Scout, so it's a very odd uh, mixture of everything. I imagine Engineer would probably be the best overall, because Engineer is pretty flexible and can do everything if you wanted to do it solo. Um, if you had something like the Smart Rifle, you can take out most enemies pretty quickly, and then if you have like an AoE with either the Grenade Launcher or the Breach Cutter, um, I'd probably go like the Loki with the Breach Cutter. That would, I think, probably be the best option for fighting off everything. Your turrets can take care of most little stuff pretty quick. So that'd probably be my go-to option if I really wanted to complete it. Uh, thanks everybody for watching this. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the regular deep dive. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube, patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this, and if you'd like to be a part of it, you can. There's links down in the description. Thanks everybody. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!